Okay, we got the Leader Ecomatic 110 pump here. We're going to hook up. So you want to get your pump positioned uh, close to the inlet and outlet. So the, the inlet that's coming from your cistern, which in this case is over here. So position this. And you'll see there's a union and one side is the socket and the other is the threaded part and these and important to note that there's a washer here that it has to be there or you'll have a leak so we will just hand tighten that and then give it a little extra It doesn't have to be on there very tight because there's no pressure. And then on the other side of the pump here, we have the outlet. And in this case, I've just got a very short piece of pipe and a valve. And that is very similar. We're just going to hand tighten it. tighten there. This will be pressurized so it does need to be snug. And as you can see we just have a ball valve and a place to hook the hose up. So the critical thing that we want to do here is prime the pump. So at the top of the pump you'll see there's a priming screw which you need to, uh, I've loosened it already. You'll need just a small pair of pliers to to get it loosened and you take this off okay so the next step is to allow some water into the system and that's done by opening the valve that's at the base of the cistern in this case it's right here okay so what uh, I like to do is just crack it open slightly and then we're going to keep our eyes on the pump at the where we took the priming screw out uh, water is going to enter the pump and then it's going to come up into the chamber and come out that top area Okay, so now we have, we've had water come out the top and we've, uh, basically we've turned the valve off at the cistern because we, otherwise the water would continue flowing out. And we're just going to put this little plug back in. And it just needs a very slight turn at the end, not much. Okay, so basically we have a prime pump and we go and open the valve to the cistern. So once we have that open again, we have a supply coming into the pump. And what I'm going to do is just plug it in and we're going to keep our eye here on the pressure gauge. And that's going to tell us how uh, the pump's doing and whether we need to perhaps prime it again. So sometimes we need to open the valve here at the outlet just a little bit to let the air out. 
and you can see the pressure is building really fast and it's shut off. So everything's gone very well here. You can see if we open this, the pump will come on and turn it, the pressure is going to build. I'm going to cut off at just over 40 pounds. Yeah, so that's it. It's as easy as that. In this situation, we're going to build a little enclosure around it so that we can run it during the winter, or sorry, during the wet weather. But other than that, that's about it. Very simple to get up and running.